everybody, this is Crystal on the scene, still at the Kansas City Black Expo and the Urban Film Festival, and I am standing here with the cast and the director as well as the writer of the short <laughs> cinematographer everything and editor and, and anything else you can think of yeah. <laughs> of the short film agent c Actu Actu <laughs> <laughs> right. we have mr um jason piggy who directed and wrote the film filmed the film did everything <laughs> We also have Mr. Roger Hawkins, who was the lead actor, and then Mr. Larkin Collins, who was, I would say, supporting actor. Yes, and editor three. He just gets up. So tell me, where did the idea for agency come from? Well, I, I think initially, um, I, 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 whenever I'm creating something, it, it starts off with an actual image. Uh, and so I built up on that image and it's like I'll go from there. So there was something, and this was last year, I'm not really exactly sure of the time, but it's, um, I completed the script in January or uh, February, something like that. But it was an idea that I had. I, I saw like a dude sitting in a chair and he was strapped down and he was fighting, but it's, it was more related to, you know, him being restrained. And so um, it was probably something that I saw or something or something that I just kind of, it wasn't in a dream. There's a whole lot going on. I did not on dream a whole this. Lot going on. I actually <laughs> created this in my mind. So you don't want to go outside. Uh, it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, it's a lot going on. <laughs> so is film something that you've always wanted to pursue from childhood on up till now? You know, the funny thing about it is I've always been a photographer. I've always been a photographer. Um, I think filmmaking. I have a, I was exposed to theater, dance, writing, speech, you know. My father, he's actually a writer director for a theater. And I think what probably happened is I kind of gained some of his, you know, his uh, his desires in that aspect. But uh, it, it was an evolution because um, I started out in photography, then went to cinematography, then started actually thinking about stories. I could always tell good stories. Uh, it would engage me. So then from there, it's like I actually kind of gravitated to, started gravitating to this because even music, I have a background in music, and it's like all these little things kind of add up to make a good film. Anyway. Yeah, so long story short, uh, yeah, he's long been doing story. <laughs> as a photographer, <laughs> went to VI, videography. I want to make sure they know. <laughs> And, uh, this, this is where he is now. You guys have such great chemistry. Did you know each other no. prior to working together? No, we've never known each other. No, no. no. no I saw Jason hold the side like, in the corner. Redhead stepchildren. And I'm sorry, don't forget <laughs> <on there. laughs> So, as you, you know, we'll work for food over here and <laughs> we'll work just for anything over here. No, actually, we met at a IFC meeting, we did, and then of course Mark and I have been on quite a few auditions together, so we knew one another. But once we all got a chance to find out that we knew one another we began working together and it works well we got a really good vibe at the chemistry. Now Lark and I actually met him at the uh the gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was uh, years ago. Yeah he was a young he had hair. He had hair. <laughs> I did that's this stuff. He, he was he was spry <laughs> and like a little sprout of the ground, you know. They tell him they tell him jailhouse <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll he came, he came into my cell. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was doing a little bit of stage acting, uh, no, some sketch comedy no. stuff. He was uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> backstage, uh, striking the stage or whatever, fixing uh, stuff. He wouldn't really his his uh, attributes wouldn't really utilize. But uh, I didn't know he, he even did videography until I see it, maybe years ago. Anyway, um, we got together on that kind of stuff and started um, taping. Uh, different films, short films. He think of some stuff that day and called me up like, let's, let's film this. Okay, uh, I'm at church, but I'm on my way. <laughs> and you know, the first thing about this, actually, Larkin has been in both of the, the short films that have won awards. Uh, he's been in the, uh, the uh, stuff, which actually won at the, the uh, 3 five film, 357 Film Festival. Was it four years back? Five years back? Three. Three years back, and then also he uh, we won best at show at the art of work program that just went on last summer. And he was, I mean, last June, July. So really, he's like a black boy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, congratulations! Got, got, got from, <laughs> you know, a little Negro leprechaun. Yeah, I'm, trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get him to work for it, but uh, you know, uh, my problem is I'm always taking my clothes off. I mean, I don't, uh, yeah. it's part of my contract. 
contract. He's like, he's got baby oil in his pocket, too. Well, you know. We gotta get the women in there. We gotta get the women to eye candy. You know, or the men who like men eye candy. So. <laughs> One thing I can say about agency is its originality is mind blowing. Can you guys tell us a little bit about your characters? Let me please. No, thank you. <laughs> if I can tell you about mine. Yes, he can. <laughs> he loves this part. But what agency boils down to is I am part of a super soldier program. Uh, the way that they trained me and got me to where I am is through major, major trauma physical, emotional, and psychological. There was also some people created to help temper that storm in the form of Lucy, my imaginary lady, and just uh, more and more training, more, you know. John was not training. John was, he was a real person, though. The character, yes, the character, his character <laughs> in the church was a real character. He knew all about it. He didn't want to tell me about it because he didn't think I could handle it, but he had a lot more uh, insight than anybody knew, especially my character. So you see in the short version, you see a lot of you know, a lot of my flashbacks and my scenes, some of which are real, some of which are not. But you know, it's kind of you know left up to the audience to figure out how that goes. So I think it was cleverly done, but you have to be a little bit cerebral, you know, a little bit of a thinker to figure it out. But definitely I think I, I like the original and I, I enjoy doing it because of the stretch. So I like it. Now my character characters. Uh, Peter Manhattan, my character. Um, he was developed uh, by Jason. Um, when he told me about the character, I kind of uh, looked in the mirror a little bit, uh, thought about recent movies I've seen. Um, you went crazy. Yeah, so when he explained it to me, I was developing this accent, uh, mannerisms, uh, gestures, and everything when he was explaining it to me. So um, let's see Peter Manhattan, bad scientist. Um, he's jumping all over in his dudes. Subconscious, um, he's trying to keep him at bay, and he's kind of getting hints that he's not taking it very well. So he gets the hell out of there. <laughs> so <laughs> before you get beat down or whatever. But uh, my other character, um, Zen. My other character, Zen. Um, like the name Zen. He was a calm character. Um, Peter Manhattan's brother. He was kind of he got he got he got, he got effed over also. So he's kind of he won't pay back also. Um, He's following in whatever plan he got going. It's a big trip.